proposed charter maintains the same appointment process as the previous charter had. The appointment procedure and structure of boards, commissions, and committees as described in the current charter with the mayor of making appointments with the approval of city council functions effectively and efficiently. The Charter Commission is not proposing any changes to that section. However, we are increasing public accountability and transparency. The City of Flint has numerous boards and commissions that undertake a wide variety of tasks. It is difficult for both City Council members and citizens to stay appraised and engaged with what is occurring with these bodies. The new charter requires timely filing of minutes that can be inspected by the public as well as regular public reporting to City Council. This charter also proposes to continue effective management of Hurley Medical Center with no changes to the way that particular element works. The Charter Commission finds that Hurley Medical Center is a valuable asset for our community, vital to the health and safety of our residents and it should be maintained as the leading medical facility under the ownership of the city. Its independence from political pressures of the City of Flint allowed it to identify the lead crisis during emergency management. We have not proposed any changes to the management of Hurley Medical Center. This section includes additional language eliminating the ability to raid water funds. The Charter Commission found that it was a common city practice through multiple administrations and under emergency management for sewer and water funds to be transferred from the general fund for general government purposes. This has been done through direct transfers and borrowing and that is never paid back. The result is higher water and sewer rates for customers. Language has been added to the Charter explicitly barring the transfer, encumbering, or borrowing of funds that are designed for specific public purposes, including enterprise funds such as sewer and water. The new draft Charter proposes a more structured and open budgeting process. The Charter Commission found that the budget process tends to begin very late in the fiscal year. It suffers from the lack of early communication between the executive and legislative branches, and citizens often have no opportunity to provide feedback until the very end of the process. This reduces community involvement and creates unneeded tension between mayor and city council. The new charter will require city council and the mayor to begin to work on the budget early with input from the public and create continuous budget creation and monitoring schedule. It requires the mayor and city council to agree on goals and objectives and develop a preliminary budget before the introduction of a formal budget by the mayor. This is intended to create a positive working relationship between the City Council and Mayor in the budgeting process. The public has an opportunity to participate throughout the process. It has been an unfortunate regular occurrence that enacted budgets are not followed or that spending runs ahead of pace, leaving not enough money at the end of the fiscal year. This is an issue of inadequate monitoring of the budget and leads to last-minute transfers and two common emergencies. The Commission has added language that requires the Chief Financial Officer to provide City Council and the public with a monthly spend plan and report monthly on the status of the budget and current spending. One method from which budgeting errors have occurred in the City is through overestimation of revenues. This has led to budgets that are balanced on paper but not balanced in reality. Budget with overestimation of revenues means that the actual budgeting decisions are made by unelected officials behind closed doors instead of by the people's elected representatives. A revenue estimating commission is created with members who are experts in municipal finance and includes both administrative representatives and council representatives to estimate current and future revenues of the city. This information is provided to the Mayor and City Council to inform current year spending and budget development. One proposed change to this draft charter is affordable water and sewer fees. The City of Flint has some of the highest water and sewer rates in the country and has many low-income residents who have extreme difficulty in paying those high water rates. 
the new charter requires council to enact an ordinance creating a payment assistance program for residents within need within two years of the enactment of this charter. Additionally, voter approval before privatization, something that is proposed in this new charter. In our discussion with the community, we have become aware of a general concern that city assets will be privatized without the input of the public. Currently, our charter allows for the city council to privatize city assets, such as water and sewer utilities, with a two-thirds vote. The revised charter will require a vote of the public before utility assets are sold. We propose a transparent accounting of water funds. Significant concern has arisen over the matter in which our utilities are managed and the budgeting of water and sewer fees paid by citizens. The current budget and comprehensive annual financial report do not provide significant detail into the disposition of fees paid by citizens. The charter is written to require a more detailed report of publicly owned utilities such as water and sewer. This article doesn't contain any charter changes that are relevant to the manner in which government will operate in the long term. The details in the transition section uh, inform how the current charter would move to the new proposed charter when adopted. We thank you very much for your support and interest in the charter and hope that you'll take the time to share with us your thoughts opinion. We thank you very much for your support and interest in the Charter and hope that you'll take the time to share with us your thoughts, opinions, and concerns.